Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here. I thought it would be a good idea to touch upon some of the questions that I'm getting from users in regards to the video conferencing features that Google has to offer. Most notably, Hangouts versus Google Meet. So, Hangouts. It is the consumer video conferencing component that is typically part of a consumer Gmail account. So if you've got a free Gmail account, you've probably seen the chat feature that is integrated into your screen. And when you click on someone's name and you bring a chat box up, in the upper left corner of that box, you'll see the video camera icon. Or if you've taken your cursor and hovered over someone's name, that info card pops up for the contact and you see the video camera that is inside of that card as well. If you click on this, you'd be using Hangouts for the video conferencing. The difference between Hangouts and Google Meet. Hangouts is for the consumers. You can only have up to 25 people in a video call and you don't have all of the customization and tools and features that you have in Google Meet. Recently, Google has made Google Meet available for almost everyone. So I thought it would be smart to be able to help you out in that transition. With Google Meet, you can have up to 250 users on a call. You can live stream up to 100,000 people that are inside of your domain. And you've got some different customization pieces with the video, the audio, the layout, which recently has been added for the tiled view. So you can have up to 16 people in one view at one time and things of that nature. But I thought I'd show you how to start or join a Google Meet from here. Recently, Google has added the feature to be able to access Google Meet from your Gmail screen. And if you haven't seen that already integrated into your screen, you may need to just clear your cookies and cache in your Chrome browser. Mine is in the upper right hand corner as I have the right side chat feature turned on in my advanced settings. So in the upper right corner, we'll see that we can start a meeting from here. And if I click on that, it goes to our Google Meet screen. And from here, we can join our meeting or we can start one from scratch. Just below the start meeting, you'll see join a meeting. Now, when you're clicking on your Google Meet links, if you're going to join something from that maybe you haven't created or if you did create it, you created it at a different time than the actual meeting started as opposed to instantly. You'll see at the end of the URL, there is a 10 letter code that is provided that you can copy and paste in here or just type in and you don't need to use those dashes. So this is one area that you can join your Google Meets from in Gmail. If you go to your Google Calendar, which we can access from our Gmail screen, you have a Meet meeting on that calendar. We can click and it brings up the info card and from here we can click on the link to join that Google Meet and if you look at the URL at the very end of it there is that 10 letter code that I was speaking to. You can also copy this and ping it to someone else in maybe a chat and they'd be able to get into that Google Meet as well. Or you can go to your Google Calendar, click on that Meet and you'll see that we have in the middle of our screen the link to join that meeting and we can click on that and get into our Google Meet. If you have the Google Meet application up, you'll see that from here we can join or start a meeting and we'll see anything on our docket that has a Google Meet attached to it and we can click and join from here as well. So with that everyone, I just wanted to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to join meetings in a few different ways using Google Meet and what the difference is with Hangouts. So if you are using Hangouts, just know that you're limited. You can still do the basics of adding people, sharing your screen, but you're limited to how many people you could have on that call. Also your audio and video will probably not be as high of quality. And then there's some other tools that you have and settings within Google Meet that you would probably be more wise to use. Until another video, another time, another day, this is Gary the Google Guy signing off.